After all that had been told here and shown here in the video clip that we have just seen, the amazing work of Daffodil family, Daffodil University, Academy, and Vocational Training Institute, and many others, especially the first initiative on computer side, IT side, tremendous. I truly salute Dr. Savur Khan for taking such initiative and his team who has contributing to take Bangladesh forward. That makes me feel that uh, being a military man, being in the Air Force, I ask myself that what we are doing. So today, as I give thanks, I would like to just a bit of things that I would like to uh, tell here to the very August gathering regarding what the armed forces and specifically the Air Force could have actually contributed in taking the country forward. I will not say anything that nation building or making uh, infrastructure or all those things. I will say only one thing. And that is, I will urge all of us to look at the example of Singapore vis-a-vis -vis that of Sri Lanka. Not to belittle anybody, but just a comparison. Because you see, when Lee Kuan Yew, the father of Singa modern Singapore, when he came in power, it was just a fishing village. And that he converted that Singapore to what it is today. Probably, if we look into the history and what Singapore Armed Forces is today, we will surely realize that one of the key factor is maintaining a peace, maintaining the stability and the peace. And how that peace has come about, the stability has come about, it has come about because of a very strong armed forces. And if you look at their air force, it is a truly global air force. Singapore, being smaller than Dhaka city, has an air force whose bases are there all over the world, including France and Australia. And if somebody can go through the internet and find out, they'll be truly surprised. We, 160 million people, in a land of only 155,000 square kilometers, including the new chores that are coming up, and we are now in the road, on the track, to move ahead and graduate from a middle income to a developing country in 2021, which some of them we have already fulfilled, and we are likely to reach our 2041 goal, inshallah, that is to become a developed country. But where, what is the contribution that should come from armed forces, and I would specifically say about Air Force. Well, the country has entrusted me to maintain, that is called simple language, Bangla Rakash Rakhibo Mukto, to keep the sky of Bangladesh free. By keeping this air free, monitoring all the time, 24 seven, the sky of Bangladesh, we have enforced and induced the countries who overfly us to pay revenue to us. That is the indirect contribution, number one. Number two, if we can maintain an atmosphere, a aura, or a halo effect that any would be aggressor who will be coming to destroy us with that ulterior motives, if we can give this message that he will be met with a force who can at least cut off one of their hand, probably, I'm sure you all of you will agree that that aggressor will think 10 times that whether he's ready to lose his hand in trying to kill me. That is the posture that we aim to have. Now, this can only come if, which we call in the language of military deterrence, this can only happen if we have a credible deterrence. But I feel sometimes very sad that probably we in the Air Force are failing today. 
If we won't have failed, maybe the issue of Rohingya won't have come. If we, had, if we would have maintained a credible deterrence, I don't think they would have dared to do all that they had been doing. They violated our airspace 25 times it's since 2017, October, when all those things happened. Of course, we were not, we have not lowered our guard. We had been in the sky every time. And because our Honorable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, had been very prudent and has far-sightedness, she always advised that Banglai Guli, Chimti Katlo Uh Karajavana. Chimti Katlo Uh Karajavana. Unless they really do some hostile action, we are not to take counteractions, only to chase them off. We did that, I believe. We succeeded that, and we gave a posture. We had been in combat air patrol, even on Eid holidays, with fully ready to meet if they do any, try to do anything hostile. So they came in a little bit inside, five miles, maximum was 10 miles, and then went off. Then we, I realized that we do not have a, a, a that is called a notification or a, a notice to the airmen, which is called air defense identification zone, or we did not establish it at that point of time any system where we can make legally right to force down any aircraft or to see that what he is doing. So we uh, incorporated that as per the Chicago Convention 1944, as per the ICAO law, and enforced air defense identification zone. And now we are ready, if anyone comes in unannounced, we have the right to make him force land. And if he carries out any hostile action, of course, we will always go ahead full bore to shoot him down. But that's what we, the posture we have given. But I have here to tell one thing. The latest aircraft that we had since the year 2000 is now almost 20 years. And we are in dire need of something advanced. From any would-be enemies, we are in dire need to have something which will give a credible deterrence. And that can only come and you have seen the recent examples of even our neighboring countries. And that can only come from an Air Force who has capability to show a superior defense posture. That means it has to have quality. It, it has to be up to date with the latest cutting edge technology. And that is, can give an asymmetric way of defending. Because we cannot enter into an arms race. The country needs to move forward for economic development. And arms race can always pull us back. So we need to have quality, superior quality. And inshallah, with our hard training, I believe we can overcome forces, even five, even if it is 10 times more. We will not falter in sacrificing our lives if it ever happens or if it is ever required. We will inshallah, thank you. We will inshallah make sure that we all sleep in peace while we are awake up in the sky to maintain that peace. Thank you, thank you Daffodil, thank you all. <laughs>